It's the first proper day of the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge and Special Stage 1 takes us from Al Dinar City through to the Marib Dune. 242 kilometres of dunes and sand. And after a gruelling 3 hours and 48 minutes, the team has worked their way into 5th place in the T3 category. Yeah, it was a bit of a surprise. We um, started out on our own and you know had the odd competitor catch us. And uh, we were very fortunate with uh, about 100 k's in, we uh, had a competitor come past us and Dale suggested that I should stay with him as long as I could and we managed to stick with him for the remainder of the stage, 140 k's. And it was pretty good because uh, he's very experienced and we could learn a lot from him. So yeah, I took a lot in from, from following. So tell us how the car performed today car was perfect. Uh, yeah, it's such an easy car to drive. Uh, obviously a good car for me to learn in as well. Uh, I feel like it's my car to be honest. It's, um, yeah, it's the suspension and the, the power. We didn't, we didn't have any issues. We did uh, manage to get stuck on one, the very, very last tune, which was ironically the largest tune. And uh, I was following the guy and just a bit too close behind him. He stopped on top. We stopped behind him reversed back down and had a couple of goes getting back up so it dropped a little bit of time but all in all pretty good. And tell us how the experience of the dunes has been for you today because it is a new experience, some of those dunes are very big. Uh, everybody told me they were going to be big but I certainly underestimated what it was going to be about so yeah I think I, had we been on our own I might have struggled a little more, it was just so easy uh, just to take in what somebody else does and how they attack them. Tomorrow another day, what's the strategy? Uh, yeah, just do my own thing again, which is how we started out and you know, if we pick up somebody else we'll try and hold with them and I think the, the biggest thing I've picked up here is that you can learn so much from following somebody else. It's a perfect start. Um, when you think about this beforehand and you think about how things could pan out, um, this is probably the perfect scenario. Uh, for someone with as little experience as Glenn's got, um, the dunes and how to attack them and what happens over the other side of them, it's very, very daunting. Um, and I know, you know that sort of pressure was building up on him a little bit. We got through the first part of the stage reasonably easily. Um, it wasn't too tricky and then luckily for us, um, it's, it's a cat and mouse game here and, and you can, when you catch somebody, uh, it's very easy to catch that last bit to them and stay with them because you can see where they're braking for things and then getting off the brake when there was nothing there and going again over all the blind crests. Um, so when someone caught up to the back of us, who was a quick guy, we managed to tag onto the back of him and said to Glenn, you know, at times you go a little bit out of your comfort zone to stay with them when they're a faster driver like that. Um, but we did that, with, I think we calculated that quite well and we were able to stay behind them and Glenn could learn exactly what he was doing, the lines he was taking, how much attitude on the car over some of the pitched dunes and things like that. So um, yeah, it was a great learning day.